No one in Singapore is immune to falling prey to falsehoods, but seniors 60 and above, as well as those living in smaller HDB flats, are more likely to be vulnerable than others. A survey of over 2,000 by the Institute of Policy Studies finds that seniors tend to lack the right digital skills to pick out false information online. That's because they seem more familiar with what the study calls legacy media, for instance, TV and print news. For those living in public housing, especially one to three room flats, it's the lack of access to digital tools to help or to develop the know-how. The same study found close to three quarters of all respondents had used online social media and instant messages to spread falsehoods. And they did so because these came from people they most trust in their networks, like close family and friends. Other top reasons for why they went ahead to forward such messages or posts are because they thought it was important or that it was new and eye-catching. The study suggests more digital literacy for vulnerable groups and getting them more aware of how the tech and media industries work. It also believes that more can be done through social groups. Interpersonal networks, such as our friends and family members, play a very important part in the spread of information, both false information as well as true information. So what this means is there's a lot of potential to cultivate network immunity among Singaporeans, where Singaporeans can play a more active role in their social networks to debunk false information. More can be done to look into, that looks into imparting soft skills relating to helping people intervene in their social networks.